Hey, Suga. It's your girl, Risa, coming to y'all this evening. Yes, happy Saturday, everybody. How y'all doing? Is everything okay? I pray that it is. I hope you're having a good day. Well, I enjoyed my day, you guys. I truly enjoyed my day. When I say God showed up and showed out, he did. And it may not be somebody else's way of him showing up and showing out, but he did exactly what I asked and what I needed today. And I truly thank him. I thank him so much. Um, Y'all, this is a prayer video. A pray. Please pray for me. Um, now, I know how I'm supposed to handle this. And that's give it to God. And I give it to him. But he didn't say I couldn't ask for prayer. So I'm asking for you guys to pray for my strength. And I want to ask you to pray for somebody. Now, I can't really tell you this person's real name. But I'm going to give you the name that they created. Okay? And when I say... I want you to pray for them. I really do want you to pray for them. You know why? Because it takes a really sick person to talk about somebody's children, okay? And the fake name that they created um, is under the video from when I was cutting my son's hair. Now, um... I'm trying to do this right. I want you guys to pray for that person. The name that she gave was Tasha Johnson. Okay? We can't pray for Tasha, Tasha Johnson because that's not her real name. But we know God knows who she is. So we're asking God. I, I'm asking you to do this with me. Because this is my way to fight back. I'm going to fight with love and kindness for you guys to truly pray for God to help this person to answer their prayers as long as they line up with his word to bless this person to heal this person for him to have his way in Jesus name thank you Lord so I ask you guys to come and touch and agree with me for God to have his way in this person's life we may not know who this person is but God knows and I don't even care if I ever find out who it is but I ask God to have his way because I could speak negative over this person's life or I could speak positive and even though I'm filled with whatever I ask God to help them. No matter how much I want to give into my flesh, I'm not going to do it. So I'm asking all of you that love me, care about me, and my family to pray for this fictitious name person. God knows who they are. God, you know who it is. And I pray for that person. I really do, Lord. We got a lot of negative things going on in this world. And those that choose to live their life like that, I truly feel sorry for them. Because you hinder your, you, you cut your days short on earth. I didn't, I'm not thinking that God is not going to bless you. Because he's going to have his way. Whether you do it his way or the highway. It's his way is going to be done. He's going to get whatever he need. Yes, he is. But for people to fix their mouth on somebody's children. I understand, you know, people feel like my apron string on my children is too tight. That's all fine, well, and good. But the thing about it is my children don't have children. They're not somewhat strung out on drugs. 
My babies are not somewhere selling their bodies. Glory be to God. They work. They're in their right mind. They healthy. They go to school. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. So if that means that I have to allow my children to stay home as long as they see fit, they don't have to go nowhere. I know I have had a lot of friends say, I can't wait till my child turn 18 for them to leave home. I don't feel that way. I've had a lot of people um, say, I wish I wouldn't have had kids. Oh, excuse me. I never felt that way. Even as a young teenage mother, I always felt that that was, my, that was what I needed to do to have, to have children. God laid it on me early. That's all I used to, that was my, you know how people dream about being a doctor, nurse, lawyer, veterinarian, whatever it is. I just wanted to be somebody's mom. To give them love and comfort and to care for them. In the way that was given to me and give them things that I didn't get. But it, it's amazing how people on the outside looking in know more than you know. And it's a lot of people that live their life that way. And that's a sad thing because I was having a conversation with somebody tonight and you just don't know when your day is going to come. My cousin passed away recently. You guys know that. And I had no idea she was sick. But she was a lot like me, old school. She didn't play that mess. And when I saw, when her son, her only son, and she has a daughter that is five. When he stood up in front of that church and he allowed everyone to see him in his pain. But he had to do it to tell about his mother, a single parent that raised him. He's in, he's in his 20s to be the man that he is today, to, to have his pastor and other people that work with Gerard or have seen him to stand up and speak on this young man's behalf. His mother did the right thing. And he said, he mentioned, he said, you know, my first paycheck, I thought I was going to go and do this and do this. And mama said, oh boy, you know that light bill is due. And then his second paycheck came and his mom was like, oh, you know, such, such is due. And all he said was, yes, ma'am. He would get frustrated. He would get angry. He would talk to his pastor about it. And the pastor was like, I'm going to talk to your mom and see what's going on. And that pastor stood up and he said, you know what? You never know why parents do certain things. You never know what they prepare their children for. And nobody knew that could ever fathom. I mean, yes, we all have to go. But he had no idea that his mother would be dying within a couple of days. Even when she was in the hospital, he did not know she was on her deathbed. He asked me, Cousin T, how's my mom doing? I, didn't, I haven't seen her, you know, recently. And I had looked at him and I, I just began to choke up because I... Didn't know how to tell him. She did not want him to know she was that ill. And so it made him feel a certain type of way. But you never know why she chose to do that. So we as human beings, we sit back and we look at people's lives and we question their methods. We question why they do certain things. Now, you do have people out there that abuse their children. They, you know, do all kinds of things. But when you see somebody, let me tell you something. God give you instructions. He prompts you to do things. That's if you know him and you're willing to listen to him. And we don't know what he is using us to prepare our children for. All of our days are numbered. 
And I just pray that I live my life in the way that God has designed for me to. I don't want to leave my children here to be without me. But that's not my that's not my decision to make. I don't know what God's plan is. But I do know that I don't feel guilty about nothing that I have done with my children. And I don't understand why somebody can look and be upset because I cut my son's hair. And the thing about it is, I don't see anything wrong with that. Why, why can't I? I mean, if he asked me to do it, of course. Now, um, I'm not going to go into all of the person's comment. But just know, I don't regret anything that I do for my children. I don't. I love them. My daughter is getting ready to graduate with a bachelor's degree. She is 24 years old. She don't have any children. And she works full time. Okay. She has made the, the president's list in school two semesters in a row, making straight A's. Okay. That's all because she persevered through all that she has gone through. Peer pressure. Stress at work. Stress in life. And recently something happened to her at work that scared her. And I told her, you know how God work. He has not been absent in your life. There are plenty of examples on how he covers you. And if you trust his word and believe in him, that when he says he'll leave you, never leave you nor forsake you, he means just that. When he says that no weapons formed against you shall prosper, that is not a maybe. That is a fact. So you give it to him. You talk to him about whatever it is that's troubling you. And you continue to go about your day because you know that battle is won, honey. He has taken care of that situation. And if I can do that to encourage my baby, I, I, I thank you, Lord. Hey, you were supposed to go get some snacks. Need some chips. I'll go get you some. Your hot chips. Oh yeah. <laughs> and for all of you parents out there that know where I'm coming from. And you know, it just, and I really do want you to pray for this person. I really do. I really do. I really do. Because I pray that no day in their life that comes... That they have to endure the ridicule, the hurt, the confusion, the stress that can come with life. I pray that God always be there, that he block it, that he give you the words to say. And I'm here to tell you, negative don't come from God. Do y'all hear me? No, it don't. He is all things positive. All things positive. Mm-hmm. So I can cheer. I, I, me, little old me, all four foot 11, 180 pounds. I choose life. I choose to bless you. And this is the way I'm going to handle this. I'm addressing the situation. I am encouraging someone. Somebody might be going through the same thing. But guess what? None of us are perfect. None of us are perfect. And we are, I blink away from making the wrong decision in life that can, that can mess up not only our lives, but our children and our children's children. But glory be to God, he gave us a savior. Mm-hmm. A savior. That we can be made new. We can be changed. If we want to. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. I had the most beautiful conversation with. One of my sisters have been with me for so long. Since I've been on YT. Her name is Darlene Izzard. I want you guys to say a prayer for her. For her healing. She recently had surgery 
And I want you to pray for her. Put her on your prayer list. Pray for her, her daughter. Pray for that family. Yes, Lord. I thank y'all. I truly had a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. I saw how God worked in my life today. And I come home and I sit down after having that beautiful conversation for about an hour with Darlene. And I open my laptop and I go to my community and there it is. The devil. <laughs> you know how it is. he got to come and try to break you down and break your spirit. But I said, Lord, I thank you. I'm saying to myself, Lord, you know how I feel. But I am not going to give in to my feelings. I am not going to give in to my feelings. I'm going to speak life. Speak life. He was with me. He is always with me. And if I just do things his way, I get the, oh yes, I get the blessing. One thing is, he give you a positive for every negative. For every negative. And I thank him. And I do pray for this person, whoever you are, whomever you are. For some reason, you seem to want to come and just be that type of person. I would not want to be you. Not at all. Not at all. I wouldn't care how much money in your pocket. I wouldn't care that you got a house that has no children because a house with no children is an empty home to me. My children could have been gone, but they are here by choice. And my daughter, when she is through with her bachelor's degree, y'all, guess what? My baby is going back to school to become a pharmacist. Do y'all hear me? Yes, ma'am. That's what she wants to do. Yes, ma'am. She's also going to school to better herself, to be a healthcare administrator. Mm-hmm. She's doing that and her bachelor's degree right now. Mm-hmm. She's hardworking. My son, I'm so proud of him. Because a lot of children his age, a lot of young men his age have children to take care of my son does not and that is a blessing he has been in relationships and to hear him say mama i don't choose to live my life that way it's not worth it to be on an up and down roller coaster with people unnecessarily i'm gonna save myself for my wife and those are his words and that is a blessing it is. Now, I can't tell you that he don't have urges. Maybe he has found that girl that he wants to settle down with. He has a girlfriend. But guess what? He is a child of God. And God's got him. He has them all in the palm of his hand. And no matter what people's on the outside looking in may say, God is my source of all things in life. So be careful the things that you say about people. Because mm -hmm. your day will come when you will be reminded in one way or another. I don't care. A lot of people be happy about some of the things that they say. I could not live like that. I am so happy to be who I am. I am so happy to be who I am. Because I choose life. The God in me feels good to be able to sit here and say that. So I bless you. I would not want to be that other person. Whomever you are. And to anybody that choose their life to live that way. May God have mercy. May God have mercy on you. 
I told um, a lady that I was talking to, she said, Risa, every time I see a negative comment or a thumbs down, it just sends me through the roof. I just, I say, well, let me tell you a little secret. For every negative, God give me double. He give me double for my trouble and beauty for my ashes. Yes, he do. He didn't say it wouldn't feel bad, but he said, if you let me, I will handle it. He always give me beauty for my ashes, double for my trouble. Yes, he do. And I say, so every time you see that, smile and tell the Lord, thank you. Smile and tell the Lord, thank you. It used to get to me. My skin is not thick. I'm not made of leather. I'm made of flesh. And I lived, I don't know how many years on this earth getting angry about things that people say. But guess what? It don't matter. They're not God. God says I'm blessed and highly favored. If God felt as though I was doing something wrong, he is the corrector that will correct any and everybody he choose. Mm -hmm. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Mm -hmm. And so I use this video as a prayer request, as encouragement, whatever it may be. I pray that you get something from this video. Speak life. Use your words as, as, as um, something positive. Why would you want to waste your breath, precious air that God has given you to just be negative, to sign your own death warrant? Mm-hmm. The Lord said you shorten your days like that. And I'm paraphrasing. You shorten your days. I don't care what people may do. We don't feel like people do all things right. We feel like, oh, she need to change her hair. Or oh, why does she do that? Or oh, why her face look that? Like why does she do that? You know what? It's none of our business why somebody choose to do some things. If you need somebody to be changed, then you be that example. Mm-hmm. And I did recently have a question about why somebody did something. Why would she do that to herself? You know, and those were my words. But guess what? It don't matter what I think. It don't. It don't matter what nobody else thinks. It matters what God says and what he thinks. And if he can turn your funky booty mess into a miracle and a testimony. Hmm. <laughs> you can't do nothing for me. Only God. Only God. Only God. Only him. Yes, you could put words out there to hurt somebody's feelings and you could be negative. You could tell them all the things that you see might be wrong with them or what they doing wrong as a parent. But what are you doing for yourself? What qualifies you to be the head nigga in charge? To comment on somebody else's life. And the thing about it is... It's something about me that just rubs this person just truly raw to the point of they just come, they don't have a positive word to say. Everybody is not going to like everybody. Point blank and the period. But when you don't like somebody, you don't have to watch. You don't have to listen. You can go on about your business. But it's something about me that you like. Because you're not going to give somebody your personal time. Uh-huh. You're not going to give that person your personal time. Precious time and energy that God has given you. You're not going to give that person that. Unless it's something about them that you want to find out about. Mm -hmm. it's something about that person that intrigues you 
that's just you just drawn to them. You got to watch, even though you don't like them. Now, until this person delete the comment, it'll stay there. Because I allow you to put it into the atmosphere. I'm not going to hold nobody's hand. You can do right or you can do wrong. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Y'all just pray for me that I continue to be able to hold.